This is based off the work of Peter Klimek et al. It's a heat map. The way you read these, this is turnout based. Each of these uh, is a polling location or a um, precinct, and they're just all kind of summed together. A normal election should look more circular. We're seeing that in Russia in 2011, 2012. They have this up and to the right trend, which could be caused by vote stuffing or other types of manipulation. And then we have Uganda, which sees a, an overall shift upwards, which raises flags of stuffing and or switching as well. And then we highlight Switzerland as being more normal as well, that more normal circular pattern of a modeled free and fair election. And now we're going to apply the same work to Forsyth. And here's all three vote types for the 24 election. So on the left, we see mail in. Um, it, it looks far more normal. It is a little stretched up and down, but generally speaking, it shows a far more circular and normal voting behavior on election day, which election day, 19.8% of the votes. Um, not a huge amount of the votes, but a solid amount. We do see a very pattern here. Instead of being that more circular grouping of votes and turnout, we're seeing that these precincts are pretty stretched up and down the vote share axis. We believe this could be caused by switching. It doesn't cause turnout to rise, but it causes um, the candidate to disproportionately have more votes in certain precincts. And it could be a side effect of switching votes, as we've highlighted with our down ballot analysis. And that's election day. On the right is early voting. 72.6% of all the votes cast were cast for early voting. And you'll notice this is where we see a strong correlation, potentially showing stuffing and some vote deletion as well mixed in. And you're just seeing it where precincts of lower turnout versus precincts of higher turnout. Republicans are losing at low turnout. They are winning at high turnout. That is a red flag for vote manipulation.